What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregolis TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you're subscribed so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We don't have a lot of news today or a lot of questions, but what we do have is a very exciting story and then we have also an exclusive Q&A with somebody at the end of this. So with that said, let's jump into our only tech news story of the day and it has to do with a new competitor to the Galaxy Z Fold line. And this potentially could be a Z Fold killer because it beats it, especially the Z Fold 3 anyway, it beats it in a lot of categories, at least from preliminary rumors and things that are coming out. And this phone, just to let you know before we dive into it, will be launched, AKA talked about, by Vivo on March 28th, which is Monday. So a couple days from now, we will know everything about this phone, but stuff's starting to trickle out. And let's just talk about what this phone is all about. So first of all, it's supposed to have a very, very similar design to a Galaxy Z Fold 3. And when we look at these photos right here, you can see that the camera mark makeup and the front display that will be on the top there, there will be a camera on top of the display not underneath the display on that front side and then you have the camera cut out right there a little you know squared off uh, or rectangular look to it with the circular design for the four uh, cameras there it's gonna look it looks like it's gonna be Zeiss camera lenses as well and this is a photo they also released on Weibo the Chinese networking social networking site and they're showing off two products here it is one of the products is their Vivo uh, X Fold, and then the other one is a tablet that they're also releasing. But the tablet, whatever, you know, there's a million tablets, and there's not a lot of folding phones still yet. But when we also dive into this, some preliminary information that's coming out about this is that the phone will be called the Vivo X Fold, like I mentioned. It'll also reportedly feature a 6.53 inch cover display, which is larger than the Galaxy Z Fold 3, and an 8 inch inner display which is also larger than Galaxy Z Fold 3 and it will be quad HD plus resolution and 120 Hertz refresh rate which matches what you get on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Under the hood the phone is supposed to be powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Obviously that'll probably also uh, potentially be in the Galaxy Z Fold Four, but they're supposed to be getting the plus version, which would be, would be better than this. It would reportedly pack a 4600 milliamp battery and 80 watt fast charging and 50 watt wireless charging, both which completely destroy what you get on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Ultrasonic fingerprint sensor as well on the Vivo folding phone. So I, that's the one thing that probably turns me off about that phone is an under display fingerprint sensor. I'm not hugely into that. I like it on the side here. It's so accurate and comfortable to use. And I don't know, I just don't, I don't see the under display fingerprint sensor being a thing that I would personally want. But everything else, yes, give me the ultra fast charging, the bigger displays, the same refresh rate as the Galaxy Z Fold 3, probably better cameras than the Galaxy Z Fold 3. There's a lot to like about that and this is obviously going to come out in China, but hopefully it'll come out in other parts of the world as well. Maybe America, but probably not. But still, it's very, very cool device. And I hope, I hope, I hope, hope, come on, Vivo, send this out to the rest of the world so we can get our hands on it because it looks really, really cool. What do you guys think of that phone? Do you think it's interesting at all? Do you think it's all a hate foldable phones? Let me know in the comments down below. With that said, let's get to the Q&A portion with Shajil Sazad and drop that our only questions of the day are from Shishil Sazad. This is about talking about my personal Q&A with you. So here you go. First question says, huge request. Can you please report that account that keeps impersonating you and pretending to do a giveaway because of that all he is misleading and the second of all you can do, get him banned uh, impersonating you. Please do it, please, and thank you. Yes, I've done it multiple times. I've reported them. I think you guys have reported them. I've even... Uh, removed his, I can hide comments from certain people. I've hide, hid all his comments and they continually come back. Like he's, he's in unstoppable. I don't know what to do. 
And this is happening, I think, to others as well. So it's like a bug that they figured out through YouTube. It's super annoying. So I'm not gonna ask you guys to, for, I wouldn't ask you guys for money if you won something. Like this guy's asking supposedly for Bitcoin and all kinds of crazy stuff. Why would I, why, if you think about it logically, if you do get tricked by this guy, why would, if you want something, why would you ever have to send, give money to get something? Like that's ridiculous, no, no matter what. You should never pay money for winning something. And our last question of the day, also from Shajil Sazad said, is it true that the Samsung Galaxy Tab gets updates quarterly and not monthly like the phones? My Tab S7 is still stuck in December update, been three freaking months. Yes, from what I know, it's quarterly. Um, I'm not sure why they do that, maybe because it's manpower in terms of like, they don't have the manpower to do these every quarter or every month, I should say. So I think that's why they probably ultimately do it every quarter. Cause why wouldn't you get, why wouldn't they give us quarterly, uh, monthly updates? It seems ridiculous, but I got to put it down to dollars and cents is why they don't do it. Thank you so much guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question. And it's funny how life works out. It seems like every Saturday it's really short on questions and it's been a light, a little light on the questions anyway, which is fine, but it's, yeah, it's been a little bit light. I think there's not any Anything like that's overly, overly exciting happen right now. We're over the Galaxy S22 Ultra being out. So people have that in their, their hands. And then the new devices are still months away, but still I do videos every single day. So make sure you're subscribed and you watch the videos. We'll see you down the road. Peace.